in all your getting don't just get knowledge content for presence the depth of your love for God that is expressed in your devotion not empty I love you not empty I love you consecration and devotion are two keys that connect to love devotion they follow holy not half-heartedly not one leg in one leg out holy and then number two the second key that secures divine presence is obedience when I sent you not when you left not when you wanted to go when I sent you lackest thou anything including the presence that backed you there are many people doing things God did not ask them to do and God will not back what he did not command if you are obeying a lie you are still disobeying hmm. divine presence ladies and gentlemen I have learned this with all humility as a secret I have seen what the presence of God can do you see every spirit born again or not regenerate or not regenerated or not any spirit can detect the presence of God so you can stand close to someone and not know why you want to bless him and not know why you want to help him it's not always about wisdom they are carrying something that is compelling blessings from your spirit this is what you can carry as a man of God that will draw people who do not know you they will travel distances and come they cannot tell what is pulling them it's called presence Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Divine presence. You can, you can copy a man of God's sermon, but you don't copy presence. You can say exactly what was said and not see the effect exactly same scripture same preaching same emphasis same example but there will be no life because there was no presence can i tell you the truth when you carry presence you will save yourself the pressure of always trying to say something new you will focus on being fresh presence is responsible for freshness the food that you eat biologically from the day you were born till today, they are countable. You can write them on a paper, yet you have not died. But every time you eat, the reason why you survive is because you eat freshness, not necessarily newness. Listen, let me tell you why as men of God, when we prepare sermons, we still take the time to pray and brood over it. Because... A good sermon without the presence factor will fall on deaf ears. It remains as a lecture, no matter how intelligent. Let me advise you as a man of God. After preparing your notes, place it on the ground and lie there in prayer. Let your presence, that presence factor, you are preparing for a miracle service or a crusade and all you bought was clothes and tie you will be disappointed in a very brutal way that your disappointment will be a lesson for many people this is what a lot of people do don't be beguiled by all this protocol that escorts the no even those who practice witchcraft know they stay first there is an incubation it's called marination women will understand you put meat and just leave it in a sauce for hours and something happens there is there is that marination and from it you come out and there are things you will not have to say again the more you carry the presence the less the noise the less the noise but the louder the sound i tell you the louder the sound the sound of impact the sound of deliverance Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Blessed is he. 
in the name of our God. Let's let it see. Manifest myself, man of God. Learn this as a secret. Carry presence, don't just carry Bible, carry presence, carry presence, don't just carry information. The presence of God be marinated in that presence, soak in that glory, be rubbed up in that glory, and come out. That's where the word baptism comes. You are immersed, you have become one with that glory. You come out from that atmosphere, sufficiency presence listen there are many things you would not look for if you find the presence of God second chronicles 25 26 and verse 5 second chronicles 26 and verse 5 presence let's hurry up we have a lot to do let's read together and he sought God first four words and he sought and he sought he sought God, not things. God, not a name. God, not power. God, not a platform. God, not a preaching opportunity. He sought God. In the days of Zechariah, who had the understandings of the vision of God. Read with me, Koinonia. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. Who makes men prosper? One more time. Who makes men prosper? make no mistakes about it when you see anyone lifted blessed adorned with glory god is behind it god made him there is a name god is called he's called a maker he does not just make the heavens and the earth alone he's a maker of men the maker of ministries the maker of destinies and that same god is making someone's life today turning you to beulah and hepzibah making beauty out of your life Hallelujah. Please sit down. Please sit down. The first spiritual resource you need, we have to hurry, is called divine presence. I have to stop. The next spiritual resource that you need is called supernatural power. You need power. <laughs> you need power. My goodness, you need power. Genuine power. Genuine power. Apostolic power genuine power for signs and wonders genuine power to command the supernatural genuine power that makes your words like the words of god genuine power that produces results genuine power that opens gates genuine power that closes other gates many many people are sincere but they've not stayed with god to carry genuine power acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god anointed anointed even the word needed to be anointed even the word needed to be anointed the word without the anointing was impotent how god anointed the word with the holy ghost and with power and with power and with power and with power what is power the force that compels compliance the force that compels compliance if there is one thing I've learned about Satan is that he's a stubborn spirit. It doesn't matter what God has said. Once power has not been introduced, you are joking. God said, I am, I am the head and not the tail. That statement does not scare spirits. But let power come in. Power. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. It says it is through the greatness of thy power that the enemies will submit themselves. Psalm 66 and verse 3. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. You are not the first person to come from a family with charms and yokes. We all came from there. When you see it not work, it's not because it cannot work. It was stopped. Power. 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 My God. I once watched a video of an elephant that was tied to an aircraft. They wanted to test the level of strength it had. And they tied the elephant to an aircraft just to see if it could pull it. And that thing looked like it was joking until it started pushing that aircraft. That aircraft went in total obedience. Say power. The end of any argument, bar is when power comes. Genuine power. 
genuine power genuine power man of god you need power you have a message but carry ye until ye be endued not with another salmon be endued with power yes sir you shall receive power i taught you already but you shall receive power meaning you can reject it many have rejected it and they told themselves i'm not a preacher power is not for preachers it is a spiritual resource that empowers you for the journey you shall receive power so when he says give us this day our daily bread the first spiritual resource you need to continue to remain to advance when you combine presence and power my god you have something on your life you have something on your life you have something on your life and i'm praying for someone in the name of jesus the grace to stay you know the secret of spiritual power there are many factors but let me tell you the truth one authentic pathway to spiritual power is to engage the mystery of prayer with fasting authentic spiritual power prayer with fasting in the presence of light you have found the combo prayer with fast not prayer and fasting if you pray and don't fast well that's fine but if you fast and don't pray you only took yourself to a point of hunger many people say they are fasting and just wake up 10 minutes they peel the orange they will take by 6 by 5 45 and that's all they are doing and by 6 on the dot without one second added they start to suck the orange and well the mercy of God is there but you didn't fast no there is a fast commanded I tell you that produces power genuine power that you lock yourself and pray not pray and browse not pray and call not pray and 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 watch part movie part this thing you shut down and pray for the purpose of edification no prayer point when others are snoring their destiny you are generating energy making contact with genuine power Acts chapter 4 and verse 33 and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all someone shout power please be seated give us this day our daily bread I'm showing you the mystery of sufficiency and can I tell you the order of your pursuit matters your spiritual pursuit must be the greatest and the highest in terms of the energy you give your pursuit there are others like you'll be learning but in order of priority when you want to embark on any spiritual journey ministry life business your assignment please in all you're getting if you must get daily bread you must invest in the things that keep divine presence you must invest in the things that keep divine power don't just say it arrived yesterday no give us this day that means do this day that which brings the daily bread give us this day um for those of you who have interacted with the north when 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 the Muslims are having their fast many times some of the mosques and the people they you know someone just donates so that they can cook for some of the children who cannot help themselves how many of seen have, have seen that kind of thing and once it's time they all arrange their plates and then they serve them and they go and by the next day they wash their plates again sometimes you see the children hungry and they are just waiting impatiently until it's time they come this day to receive this day if you don't do the things daily that keep the presence daily that keep the power daily you will wake up like samson and find out that there's no power again assumption is costly in this journey of destiny you only pray when you are going for a conference or you only pray study the bible like a, a, the dear sister who gave her testimony you see honestly admitting that before the school of ministry she would not even open her bible she would not even pray obtain grace to love the Lord more than your necessary food 
secure divine presence secure divine presence through the depth of your devotion for spiritual things obtain grace to invest in the place of prayer obtain grace to invest in the place of the word until you contact genuine power genuine power every time i have the opportunity to watch videos of the patriarchs in modern history sometimes i just find myself tears just running i may not be crying but sometimes i say lord have mercy on us where did we miss this thing i mean these guys kai these men carried power they really carried power if you've not watched enough of their videos you may think people are exaggerating but when god grants you access to rare materials I remember watching one of these men of God, I think it was A.A. A. Allen. They brought someone who had polio and it was as if he was stretching cloth that you are going to iron. He just stretched that guy and told him to stand up and that was it. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, Rest on me, rest on me. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.